The overall number of fatalities in traffic accidents in Europe is decreasing. The number of fatalities of vulnerable road users unfortunately isn't. Therefore, action is needed. Car manufacturers are developing systems which alert and support the driver to avoid or mitigate an imminent crash. Performance research suggests that such crash avoidance systems can reduce accidents by up to 27% and lowers injuries. The first European AEB test protocols in 2014 focus on car-to-car -car situations. AEB pedestrian systems are planned to be tested in 2016 by Euro NCAP. The AEB protocols might be extended in 2018 with tests under less favourable conditions, as a significant share of severe pedestrian accidents take place during dawn, evening or night conditions. Cycling is getting more popular, and statistics show no significant decrease in cyclist accident numbers. Cars are a major opponent in fatal cyclist accidents. That's why, in 2018, it is expected that the Euro NCAP will further extend the AEB protocol with cyclists. TNO and industry partners are working on new AEB developments and tests resulting in extended AEB test protocols. Within TNO's cyclist safety program, a first draft AEB cyclist protocol has been developed based on accidentology research. It consists of four dominant scenarios, a city crossing, a car turning left or right in a city, and an interurban longitudinal scenario. For these tests, first prototype dummies for both cyclists and bicycle have been developed based on real-life data. Our first tests with a portable test setup have been demonstrated during the second International Cycling Safety Conference in TNO's Active Safety Laboratory, VHIL. A significant share of fatal, vulnerable road user accidents happen in the evening or night when there's poor visibility. For future testing, TNO has reproduced realistic night conditions based on real-life data. So both day and night lighting conditions can be tested. With this test setup, we cover the most common cyclist to passenger car accidents, and that means a crossing. For the future, we will look into rear-end collisions, where the cyclist is hit on a rural road uh, by the car from behind. Since eight years, uh, 4A is uh, developing test methods in this area. And we have developed the Euro NCAP pedestrian dummy. The bicycle dummy is also a development we started uh, some months ago. Euro NCAP has been testing uh, vehicle safety for 15 years now. A part of the assessment is the uh, protection of uh, vulnerable road users. Well, for 2016, we're going to implement uh, active safety for pedestrians. Then in 2018, we're aiming to also introduce specific test procedures for cyclists. Accidents are terrible. Fortunately, TNO has the test tools for the future. The industry is developing the safety systems. With joint forces, we can decrease fatalities and severely injured among vulnerable road users.